at the moment, what would you describe the state of the program? Where, where is the program, and so, and what is what is Coach Muschamp? Well, you know, I, I said this uh, earlier today. You know, a lot of people have said, how how could the program have fallen so far and so quickly? You know. And I look at that as a two-way street because that's how quickly we could get back to the top. Uh, Coach Muschamp already told me that we're in good shape. He said, what do you mean by that? He said, I could get even more out of the talent we have. And he's going out recruiting this afternoon. So is it where we want to be today? No, but I'm not buying into a three or five year turnaround. I want to I want to be back to success next season. And, and that is my next question, which is success next season. What is success next season? Look like competing for the East, competing for the SEC Eastern Championship. I think that's got to be the proximal goal. Anything less than that to me wouldn't be, um, wouldn't feel right as a fan, uh, you know, and you take it from there. Uh, and I think, uh, I think given the state of the SEC East without necessarily a consistent dominant team over the over the last few years I think that's within within sight but again coach is going to tell us what his goals are I'm talking more more as a fan about it with the expectations after that year two year three be then competing then for the SEC championship getting into the playoffs absolutely you know a couple of years ago I think it was to coach Staley in answering a question said our goal is to win the national championship I, I kind of got a little startled because I thought maybe uh, the SEC or making it to the big dance, maybe going deep into the tournament, and she said, win it all. I like that attitude. Has she done it yet? No, but do we believe that she will? One day soon, we do. In a left-handed way, has that, because of the attitude she has brought and the success she has brought, is that something that is now now permeated other programs? I think or, so. Or expectations of other programs? I think so, and I think it's why people were uh, nervous about the uh, timing of the search and uh, and how it was going to uh, turn out. But let me go right to Ray Tanner and winning World Series back-to-back -back championships. I think that did it. Uh, three 11 win seasons in football, but go down the road with other successes across uh, the athletic program. So yeah, Gamecocks are, you know, bring it on next year type people. Switching gears a little bit, you know, Coach Muschamp might not have been the first choice. There were other coaches that the university was looking at. Do you feel like, or what would you say to folks that say, well, we settled on Coach Muschamp? Well, actually, I think he was the first choice. Okay. I can't speak to people who might have been in conversations with Ray before that, but I can tell you he never brought another name to me. And so it wasn't like I'd like to make that person an offer, and then he calls me up and says, can't get him. How about this fellow? Never happened that way. He only delivered one name to me and to the board chairman, and that was Will. And what would you say to those fans who, who may be disappointed and, and, and say, well, I thought we could do differently than maybe Coach Muschamp? Well, you know, watch the press conference mm -hmm. and then uh, and then tell me if you remain disappointed. But, you know, but truth be told, it's not about a press conference. I would say stick with us uh, through uh, through the spring and through uh, next season and then, and then send me another email. Tell me what you think. I know that one of the coaches reportedly spoken with was uh, Coach Taggart at uh, South Florida who was African-American. Was there sort of an understood edict that maybe there would be at least one African-American one African -American candidate spoken with? Well, we, we, we promote uh, inclusion and diversity. Um, there may have been more, to be honest with you. I know Coach Tanner had a consultant, somebody who specializes in seeking uh, diverse uh, candidates, but I also don't think he went through the motions like, you know, let's get one. As I said, I think there were multiple. I don't think it's seemly to discuss the names because we, you know, you know who we hired. Uh, but I would have been supportive of that, but uh, not going through the motions, but, but seeking a diverse and, and wide uh, group of candidates. Um, you know, we, there was some talk about his demeanor and how he how he's seen and of course some of the reaction to that. What do you expect? How do you balance between I want a passionate coach, but I don't want a coach that goes over that line? Well, I, th I think you can look. You know, you can look at the yellow flag rule. Okay, so we want a passionate coach. You know, Coach Spurrier used to throw the visor. Uh, not as much lately, but I think people liked it when he did that. Uh, I think drawing a penalty uh, is what we don't want to see, and uh, we want uh, we want uh, fans in the stand to think of him as a passionate. Uh, intense, yes, but uh, the role model, and I and I and I think we've got one. To be honest with you, Coach Tanner, we talked about it. Said, you know, I got thrown out of a few baseball games, and he said, I'm not proud of it. He said, and every time I did, I vowed it wouldn't happen again, and and he got better at that over time. So I, I think we'll be fine with that. 
what role, if any, do you see maybe Coach Spurrier playing uh, with, with the program moving forward? And, and you know, the only thing I know is I don't want to uh, handcuff Coach Muschamp in any way. There are a lot of people I admire, respect, and like, even within the football program, but he's not going to hear from me with that kind of advice. If we're talking about non-football, I would love for uh, for Steve to uh, help the university and work with us. I plan on having dinner with him uh, before the holidays, just a quiet, private dinner. Uh, and uh, maybe we'll talk about that a little bit. I wouldn't expect any big announcement, though, or any big role, but we hope he stays in Columbia, and we hope he's willing to help the university. And finally, when Coach Muschamp is done with his tenure here, what do you hope the football program is like? Uh, and what, what state would it be in at the end of the Little West Championship? Well, you know, by that time, I hope to be sitting in the stadium as a fan, uh, not as a president. I hope he uh, outlives my tenure, and uh, I let me, for the fans, make sure that I not mince my words. We, we want to win it all. We want to win big. It is how you play the game, and it is also how well you play the game. So I would love for this university to experience an SEC East Divisional Championship, an SEC Championship, and then and then go, uh, you know, go all the way. Uh, and and finally, with facilities, do you feel?